हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर्ट विथ अरुणा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड थ्री डिजिट बाय थ्री डिजिट इट वाज अ रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर क्वेश्चन इज 209 डिवाइडेड बाय 662 सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन द नंबर इन लॉन्ग डिवीजन फॉर्म लाइक दिस हियर वी हैव थ्री डिजिट डिवाइजर एंड थ्री डिजिट डिविडेंट सो वी नीड टू कंपेयर दिस three digit with this three digit so we know that 209 is less than 662 so it is not possible to have 209 in table of 662 so we will go for the less than 209 term that is 0 times 662 is 0 so here we will get 209 back now this 209 is part of our question and we need to solve this but this 209 is part of our solution here we are done with all the digit present in the question. So to solve this question further, we need to put one decimal point here in the quotient. And due to this decimal point, we are allowed to put one zero after each step. Now we have the number 2090 here. Now we need to check there is a number in table of 662, which is either equal to 2090 or less than this. So to check that number, we will consider the last digit of this divisor that is 6 and last two digit of this number that is 20. So here we need to check whether there is a number in table of 6 which is less than 20 or equal to 20. So we know that 3 times 6 is 18 which is less than this 20. So we can go for the 3 times 662 here. So let's write down 3 here. So here 3 cross 2 6 3 cross 6 18 3 cross 6 18 18 plus 1 19 so here 10 minus 6 4 8 minus 8 0 10 minus 9 1 1 minus 1 0 now again due to this decimal point we are allowed to put 1 0 here now we have the number 1040 again we will check this 6 and last two digit of this number that is 10 so the number less than 10 in table of 6 is 6 so we it means we will take 1 times 662 so let's write down 1 here 6 6 2 here so here 10 minus 2 8 here 13 minus 6 that is 7 here 9 minus 6 3 again due to this decimal point we are allowed to put 1 0 here so here we got the number 3780 now to find out that whether this number comes in the table of this 662 or not let's take the the 6 and last two digit of this number that is 37 let's check whether there is a number which is less than or equal to 37 comes in the table of 6 we know that 6 cross 6 is 36 so here we can go for the 6 times 662 but use your common sense here see this 37 and this 36 having only one number difference and if we go for this 6 times 662 definitely we are going to get a number which is greater than this 3780 so it will be better if we go for the 5 times here so let's try 5 times of 662 so here 5 cross 2 10 1 carry 5 cross 6 30 30 plus 1 31 5 cross 6 30 30 plus 3 33 so here 0 minus 0 0 8 minus 1 7 7 minus 3 4 3 minus 3 0 again due to this decimal point we are allowed to put 1 0 here now we have the number 4700 again to check whether this number comes in the table of 662 or not take this 6 and this 47 now the number less than 47 in table of 6 is 6 cross 7 that is 42 now here you can see that the difference between this 42 and this 47 is of 5 digit it means if we apply this 7 here in table of 662 we can get a number less than this 4700 so let's apply 7 times 662 so here 7 cross 2 
फोर्टीन वन कैरी सेवन क्रॉस सिक्स फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू प्लस वन फोर्टी थ्री सेवन क्रॉस सिक्स फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू प्लस फोर फोर्टी सिक्स सो हियर टेन माइनस फोर दैट इज सिक्स नाइन माइनस थ्री दैट इज सिक्स सिक्स माइनस सिक्स जीरो फोर माइनस फोर जीरो अगेन ड्यू टू दिस डेसीमल पॉइंट वी आर अलाउड टू पुट वन जीरो हियर now here you can see that we have 660 which is less than this 662 so what we need to do here we need to go for the zeros are zero terms of the 662 so let's write down zero here and subtract zero from here so here we will get 660 back and due to this decimal point we are allowed to put one zero here now we have the number 6600 now here you can see that the 10 times 662 will be 6620 which is greater than this and we normally don't apply the 10 times term here in the question so we will go for the 9 times 662 so here 9 times 662 will be 9 cross 2 that is 18 9 cross 6 that is 54 54 plus 1 55 9 cross 6 that is 54 54 plus 5 59 so here 10 minus 8 2 9 minus 5 4 here 15 minus 9 that is 6 and here 0 again due to that decimal point we are allowed to put 1 0 here Now we got the number six thousand four hundred twenty. So there is endless solution of this question. We already solved this question till after six digit of decimal point. So normally in such type of question we can uh, write the uh, answer till two or three digits as much as we can solve or the number of specified digit asked in the question. So here. this is the process how we can solve such type of question i hope this is helpful for you thanks for watching friends if you like this video then don't forget to like subscribe share and comment on this video thank you